what is the runoff calculation for roof area to, for, cap, for rainwater catchment systems and how do you size a rain tank? Um, so let's say generally you get 600 gallons of rainwater per one inch of rain per 1,000 square foot roof. So if we have a 1,000 square foot roof, we're gonna get 600 gallons for one inch of rain and we will often get 10 inches of rain as we're recording this, we've gotten like five, six, seven inches of rain in the last three days in some places here. Um, so we wanna size the tank to be able to catch 10 inches of rain at a time. So it's not uncommon for us to go through a cycle where we get 10 inches of rain in a short span. Um, and that way we can bank that rain up in the spring, we can carry that water through the summer, and then we can uh, do it again in the fall and carry it through winter. So that would mean if you had a thousand square foot roof, you would install a 6,000 gallon rain tank based on those calculations in order to be able to store 10 inches of rain. And so whatever your, uh, you take 600 times your uh, thousand square feet of roof space. So if it's 3000, then it'd be 600 times three. And then I multiply that number by 10. And that gets me my rain tank size. That's probably confusing just hearing that verbally, but um, there's lots of places you can check that out online. But I think that the big thing that's unique about Central Texas is the multiplying your number by 10, catching 10 inches of rain. And if you can install a bigger rain tank than that, sometimes it's worth it to do so.